that was was coming down the hallway. There's stuff everywhere. I didn't see it everywhere. So you didn't want your identity to be on camera because of everything that's going on inside this house. My brothers and I were recently contacted by twin sisters from Cincinnati, Ohio. The sisters claim they are being physically attacked by demonic forces. I must warn you, the story you are about to hear is extremely graphic. And it tells me it's a demon. It talks, it, it like screams at me sometimes. It tells me to get in the tub. It's told me to cut my wrist in the tub before. It was a woman. To come in and cut my wrists in the bathtub. And um, that room too, no one even goes in that room. That's, the, that's where most of the activity is. It comes from there. I was 16 and I was in bed. I was sleeping and I would have this pain in my uh, side. Like, I, don't, I thought I was having like kidney failure almost because I kept having this pain. And then slowly it turned into an arm holding me. And it was a full figure, it was like a shadow. And I leaned up and it gave me a kiss. And I thought at the time it was my boyfriend, so I was like, you know, I kissed it back. And then it just cuddled with me. And ever since that day, I've just had something attached to me that won't leave. And my mom at the time, she was all into the ghost stuff. And she was, you know, calling spirits and stuff into the house and like doing all kinds of crazy stuff. I seriously think that something was called into the house and that was that shadow was something from the other side. She used to go and use one of her digital cameras and take pictures. She was into that kind of stuff. So she did that in the house all the time. She didn't believe me when I told her that it happened. And she, um, she kind of just shook it off. I was seeing um, shadows and I would feel them climbing onto the bed and they would hold me down and rape me. And it's happened almost every night since then. We've got my back in the house right now. Are you touching her legs? Somewhere right by you. I've also started hearing them, which is a strange thing, because that just started happening two years ago. I started hearing them. I was hearing things and seeing the shadows, and um, they just put me on antipsychotics, thinking I was crazy. Despite being on several medications and seen by multiple doctors, no medical explanation has been discovered to explain the physical attacks on the sisters. Now my sister's having the same experiences and I just don't want my kids to have to deal with it. I really don't. My daughter has heard knocking. On the wall, she hears knocking and no one's there. So I don't know what knocking she's hearing, but in the middle of the night, she'll hear knocking. When it rapes you, what happens? Walk me through. And they crawl onto the bed. More than one of them. A few of them. They hold me down and they molest me. And then they rape me and they sodomize me. This is where it happens. This is, they usually start, they crawl up on the bed right here and they make me so weak. Energy, I like, I, I don't know, I just can't move. And this is where they rape me. I feel it with me all the time. Like something's with me. I feel it with me. I feel it watching me. I feel it touching me. Like right now, it'll tell me that if I don't do what it wants me to do, that it's gonna rape me. So I just go with it. And I've prayed and I've tried all kinds of things to get it to stop, but it won't stop. And now it's happening to my sister. I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know if I should feel relieved that I'm not crazy or if I should feel another way. My whole life, I feel like I've had a, like a, a cloud over my head or something like nothing's right, nothing goes right for me. And I, I feel like that might be because of all the energy, you know? I just don't feel right. Climb up my legs. They'll hold my arms down and they'll hold my legs down. And then um, something will start licking me and then it rapes me and both and they sodomize me it's a man that talks to me and I wish he would he wish he'd talk to me right now so we could get it on here I just want to know like well, I just want it gone I just want it away I just want it gone I want my kids to feel safe they see things they see shadows too sometimes and now my sister's feeling it 
She's failing at crawling up her legs. It said it was a demon. It pretends to be my grandma I just passed away, which really hurts. My grandma just passed away August 8th, and it, it'll pretend, it'll go, it'll like have her voice and it'll be talking to me. And it'll tell, it'll tell me that she's in hell. And she'll scream, and she'll scream and say, help me, and it's all in my ear. The sexual activity has now began affecting her twin sister. She has also agreed to talk about her experiences with this entity. You know, we heard what your sister's got to say, and it's pretty disturbing to say the least. So when did everything start with you, and what do you experience? And I was just laying in bed, and it started climbing up onto the bed. And it feels like something little. It doesn't feel like... It feels like a, something, like a dog jumping on your bed. That's what it feels like to me. And you can feel the pressure on both sides of your body of where it's climbing with its arms up your legs. And you can feel the pressure, you can feel the hands, you can feel all of it. This is my spot here. And pretty much this is where... The crawling usually starts right here. That's when he felt something jump right here. And my dog was laying with me, so it wasn't my dog. And my kids are so scared to sleep in their own room, they sleep down here in that bed. Like almost like a, almost like a cold chill-like thing. And then you would feel pressure, but you couldn't make out what it was. You couldn't make out if it was a hand. You couldn't make out if it was anything, really. You just had a sensation that something was there touching you. And then when it's, the sexual part started, you knew something was there. You could feel it didn't know what it was at the, that time and I it almost like your stomach will gurgle I don't know what that is but you can feel like energy like you can't feel size or anything like that but you can feel like the energy mm -hmm. entering you and my stomach was making noises and it just felt so off it was just it was really weird immediately I, I didn't tell her right off the rip because I didn't want to scare her I have to tell her, hey, you might not be crazy at all. So, but yeah, you can feel it. My boyfriend feels, felt the, the someone something jump on the bed. He felt he felt it immediately, and as soon as it did, he looked right down there, right at it, and he felt it. So if he can feel it, and I can feel it, it's got to, so there's something there. And my bed starts moving. That's how it started. My bed kind of would shake a little bit, and it felt like something was under there like crawling around or something. And then it would jump up on the bed and then it would crawl up on me. And has your experiences gotten to the level as your sister's no, no, or? No, no. Okay. As soon as I felt it, I contacted you guys because I'm not going to deal with that. My house has never been haunted. My, I've lived here 10 years. My kids grew up in this house. And even her ex has had paranormal experiences. He's been choked one time laying next to her in our old house, the house where this all started. He was physically choked. He woke up choking. Well, we are twins. So is it possible that we're both have some kind of... It might be possible when she's being raped. I'm feeling it. You're feeling it. Mm. And maybe that's why it. your sensation's not quite as... Right, it's not as powerful. As sure. powerful as hers. Like it doesn't, there's no... They do, they've sodomized me. I knew it was happening. I put salt around the bed and everything. I would, she would sleep on the couch. I would run salt around the, the couch and everything. But it almost feel like she always had something wrapped around her or something, like a misty thing. It felt like something was there all the time. And even my mom was acting strange, I feel like, all the time. And what's crazy is they get in your head. Like, they're wanting to please you. You feel, like, horny. You get horny from it. They will try to get you all horny so they can just do it, do what they want with you. And they'll do it. And they, and they don't care what you're doing. And it wasn't until she moved in with me after her stroke that I made her go get help. Because it seemed like, to me, she was self-medicating, trying to get, like, some relief. If it was just happening to her, yeah, you know, possibly we could look at it as medical. Right and not something paranormal, can we document the evidence to support what's going on here? I mean, if it's here, we'll find it. God showed me you guys for a reason. And maybe that, maybe this is the reason. And I'm not trying to put pressure on you or anything, but I'm just saying like, 
I pray about it and maybe God showed me like the answer to my problems. Yeah, I think the important thing to remember is, you know, we'll do the investigation, the cleansing, mm -hmm. you know, bless you and your sister, the house. Mm -hmm. But you guys also have to stand up to it, yeah. To it yourselves and take your lives back and take your house back and she said, This is gonna be weird, what if it does go away and I'll be lonely? In her mind, it's gonna be sad. Which is kinda of scary for her to think that. She's gonna get her life back, everything's gonna go back to normal, and then she's telling me that um, it's going to be lonely. It feels like energy and um, it makes me really weak, like where I can't move almost, like it, it drains my energy. It comes onto the bed and it tries to pull my legs apart, which sometimes it does, and then it eats me out first. It, may, it tries to make me feel good. Like sometimes I even let it do it. It's a feeling like a sensation it starts off like a sensation and then it gets stronger and stronger and stronger until it feels like the real thing almost. Like it's almost the real thing. And then it rapes me after it gets so strong and when I'm, I'm weak and I can barely move is when it rapes me. Sometimes it's multiple, like, it feels like there's like eight and it feels like they don't care like about what hole they're using. Sometimes my, my face will start to tingle and it, and it, like, I don't know, it's energy feeling and it like opens and then it rapes my face. Uses that energy, I guess, to rape me. And sometimes I enjoy it. I, I will say I have had orgasms before. It doesn't feel like a normal orgasm. It feels like something I've never felt before. But then they just don't stop. Really strange feeling. It doesn't feel like a person, but it feels like a bunch of people, creatures, like little creatures, almost. I don't know if you believe in demons, but I almost think it is. He talks like dirty to me in my ear while it's happening. Does he always say the same stuff? Yeah, usually it's the same stuff. It's like, I'm going to lick your be prepared to let go of this? That's my fear. Because I feel like I've almost have like a relationship with this person, this, this thing. And I don't know if it's going to be able to let go of me. I, I don't, I feel like I could probably let go of it. I, I will let go of it. But I'm scared that it's not going to, it's not going to go away. It's latched on. It's been with me for so long, I think. And have you, over time, gained I've, emotions towards this demon? Yeah. I think I have, because I talk to him all the time. And he asked me how my day was. He says his name's Chris, and then he says his name's Josh. And then he says he's a demon. It's been so long, I feel like I don't know what it's like to be normal. I feel like... When I, when I, when it goes away, that I'm going to be. I just think you're afraid to let go of this thing. I probably am. I just want it to go, though. I just want to be normal. I don't want to feel like this anymore. I don't want it here. It's telling me to stop crying right now. But I feel it too. I feel like it's attached so much that it's in my head now. And like it hears what I'm saying. It hears what, what it like knows what I'm thinking. I feel like it's literally in my head. 
Like, it's gotten so bad that it's, it can read my mind. So if I think about anything, it 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 yells at me about stuff. It just... I think maybe oh. it knows tonight's the end. I think it does. It told me last night. You said this is going to be the last time. I want you to prepare yourself mentally, you know, to stand up. And the three of us will be here, your sister will be here, and we'll all fight this together. <sighs> okay? Sometimes I feel like it is, and I don't know what to do because... <laughs> I just don't know what to do. It's on the bed. Like, I feel that they're on the bed all the time. <laughs> because I don't want them raping her. I'm sorry. I'm going to take a minute. I'm sorry. For the safety of the sisters, we have asked them both to leave the house during our investigation. My brothers and I will attempt to communicate and document evidence of whatever's inside this house. I felt something hit me right here. Yeah, it went straight up. It was like a, like a ball of light. Yeah, I felt something hit me. Did you see me reach for it? And we're going to start back here in the bedroom and kind of work our way through the house. Probably one of the most disturbing interviews we've ever done. And we're going to try to document as much evidence as we can and hopefully figure out what's going on inside this house and what is attacking these two sisters. So we've got alarms throughout the house. As we're standing here getting ready to go completely lights out, I felt something hit me on the side of the face. And Rocky said that he thought he's seen a ball of light fly up towards my face. It literally felt like something like went like this against my ear. So hopefully that's on video. We'll go back and look at it. I think if there's, did you get something there? Something, yeah. I huh. just heard something out, out there in the front room. Something hit this side. Who keeps touching me? My name's Josh, this is Rocky and Sean. Whoever you are inside this house, show yourself to us right now. You've touched me twice. Can you touch Rocky and Sean? You guys hearing that? If you're walking, can you walk in here with us? They say that you crawl up on this bed Who's inside this house right now? If you're sexually abusing these two sisters, come out and show yourself. Don't hide in the darkness. Like a knocking. I'm gonna stand right here for a second. Are you knocking out here? Are you knocking out here? Talk louder. You hear it thumping? Yeah, I'm hearing voices. I can't hear with these headphones. I don't know if the audio is shut off or not. I heard you. You hear it, Sean? Yeah. Thumping? Yeah, it's like somebody's walking. I've got an alarm back in the back bedroom. Set our alarm off. The camera just turned. Hmm? The camera just turned on me. I think whatever it is, it's right back here with us. 
Whoa. Something just touched me right on the butt. And that was hard. It was like, it was like a punch right on the butt. What's right here off yeah, in front of you? Right here? Off to your right a little bit. There's a room right here. Yeah. What's in there? Because, uh... It's a laundry room. I kept hearing shit on there. Are you in here? Come forward and show yourself right now. That's three times now I've been touched. Who keeps touching me? Do you just hear voices again? No. What'd you hear? It almost sounded like I heard a humming. Hear it? Knocking. Let's walk back to that other bedroom because that's where a lot of the physical attacks, the rapes and stuff like that are going on is back in this back bedroom. And I swear that's where that knocking's coming from. Ooh. There was a growl. There was a growl from this room right here. Who made that growling sound? If you're a demon, do something. Show us how powerful you are. I keep hearing, did you hear that over there too? Yeah. I heard that earlier. You want Rocky? Right here he is. Do something. It's like something's sticking a needle on my leg. Are you touching Rocky's leg? You want to sexually abuse two young women? We're here now. We're not afraid of you. We're going to stand up to you. Show us what you got right now. There's definitely something in that room. I'm almost afraid to walk back in this room. I think, you know, when we were doing the walk... Why would you be afraid to walk back here? Huh? Why would you be afraid to walk back here? The it's girls are walking back here all the time. I know, but it's creepy. Yeah. And walking through the house earlier, these two rooms back here, yeah. it literally makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up. I think that's where the knock is coming from. Something again right here. I keep getting something's like tapping me. We got an alarm right here. Can you come sit on the bed? Crawl on the bed and set our alarm off. What kind of an evil monster crawls on the bed and rapes somebody? That's what you are, you're an evil monster. We come in the name of Jesus Christ. I bet you don't like him, do you? Something's touching my arm. This feels like it's like rubbing up against the hair on my arm. Mm -hmm. That's all my taps and stuff have been fairly light. That's why I think this thing is a coward with us here. He can abuse women, but when a man stands up to you, you can't do anything. And that's how most Abusers are in life. You can hurt women, but the first time a man stands up to you, you're a coward.
Show us who you are right now. Yeah, this room, I feel like I'm about ready to pass out in here. I think the best way to, you know, like when you take like sinus medicine and you feel drowsy, that's what I feel like just standing here. Like my eyes are burning. You're going to talk to us tonight one way or another. I've got a device here that you can communicate with us. I want you to come forward and talk to us. We believe you're here. Can you hear me, yes or no? You hear that? Yes, I hear you. What is your name? Oh, do you hear that? He goes, Where are you at right now? Are you a child? That was creepy. What is your name? Did you hear that? Yeah. Huh? He's over here by my foot. It's like one of these toys moved, wasn't it? Something like that. It goes. <laughs> Was that you? <laughs> me. Who is me? Something keeps touching my ears. Did you touch me? Sean. Touch Sean then. Let's move into her bedroom. Keep saying Sean. Are you in this bedroom? Where are you at? Tell me your name right now. What is that? It's right here. Who are you? What the f is that? Who are you? She said she hears knocking and stuff on the walls. Sean, give me the camera. Sean, you give me the camera, and we'll run a spirit box session back in her bedroom. What room and I'm, am I sat in? Um... Did you hear it? That was a girl. Sat in the living room. Can you see me? Who are you raping? Do something to me. Go back there. It sound like it's just right there at the kitchen. Am I going the right way? Are you a demon? Is that your name? You just want me to call you demon? I heard you like to lie a lot.
Tell me your name. Just put it on your head. That's not like a ball. Just want to put it on Do you see following the sister around? Why do you keep following her around? Are you attacking both sisters? Are you scared of Josh? Do you know what Josh is going to do to you? He's going to make you leave. How many people's in this house? Walking, walking back here. It said here. Are you behind Josh? What room are you in? I don't know, but that little kid's voice that keeps coming right across. I'm sorry, but it's creepy. Do something. Help. Where are you at so I can help you? I just want to talk to the kid, nobody else. Are you scared? I'm not scared. Do you want us to help you get out of here? Is there somebody hurting you? Do you wish you could play with all them toys back there in that bedroom? If we go back there, will you turn one of the toys on for us? Come over here to me. I promise we're going to help you get out of here tonight. No, we're not going to help you. Be aggressive with him. He's raping women. What happens if I'm sitting here just trying to talk to a kid? There's no kid that's raping women. <clears throat> well, I'm not saying there. It may not just be one spirit. I say call it out. Well, if you ain't going to do anything, then why am I here? As Josh said, we'll just make you leave then. Was you a rapist when you was alive? Now you're going to be a coward and can't face us? Tell me your name right now. Did it say Chris? Yeah. Is your name Chris? Why are you hurting these women? The sex I want to? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think you're a piece of Can you come up and touch Sean? Like chewy for a yeah. Chris, why are you in this house?
sound like it said her mom. Chris, are you the only one here? Mm -hmm. That's what I thought I heard too. We don't care if you knock on stuff. Demons do more than knock. Whoa. Jesus Christ, buddy. Do something bigger. I know I'm pissing you off. Whoa. What, what move? A bag. Rocky, can you step back? Way back. Somebody get a wide shot of this table. Shut. A bag moved on the table right here. Did you hear that, Rocky? Yeah, I heard it. That's what I like. I like aggravating you. Pushing you. Let's see what else you've got. We faced you as children. We're prepared to take you on right now. Show yourself, coward. Oh, huh? Is that baby crying? Sound like a baby crying. Holy right beside me. We're bringing back in the house. They're going to face you. And tonight this ends. Tonight, she's going to break up with you. She's going to leave you and force you out. She doesn't love you or care about you. Are you back here? I know I upset you. This is the room that you sexually abuse her in. Oh God! What the? F Holy! I heard it. It can hit me too in the back. Give me the camera. Give me the camera. What's rolling? Holy! That was the loudest thing we've heard tonight. Dude, I'm telling you, whatever it did that, then it was like it freaking just jabbed me right back. Holy okay. Come here. Okay. Okay. No way. Look. The desk. I promise you that desk wasn't like that. Whatever it was, it's not like it hit this wall right here. That's what it, to me, I know it. Well, that's what I'm saying. It freaking did something and it like nailed my back right here, whatever it was. Holy crap. Josh pissing you off? I think you understand what Josh is trying to say, that he means business, he's going to take care of you tonight. You're not going to be taking care of nobody. Okay, let's step outside. Let's just take a break, and then we'll get the girls back in here. Oh, my God. Yeah, I think we need to have the cameras and everything set up, her in bed. And then once midnight hits, see what happens. All alone inside the house. This is the bedroom that you've been raping her in. It's just you and me now. Come forward and show yourself. I will say out of all the rooms in the house, this bedroom is creepier than sh Hit something hard for me. Oh. A scream. Something's got me right here. Back off. Back away from me right now.
burning sensation in my hand. Felt like a needle, like I was getting a shot. Walking. Is that what you needed, me by myself? I do not like sitting on that bed. I'm gonna take the camera out here. In the hallway I keep hearing. It's just me and you, where are you? <gasps> walking. Alarm's going off, walking. I heard you walking behind me. I'm in here now. So I think what we need to do right now is we'll bring the girls back in here. See how the activity changes. Because if something is attached to her, she may be the catalyst to this haunting. We've got back in the house right now. Are you touching her legs? Oh, something right by you. Come in here and show yourself. I got you mapped out, so ask it to come sit with you. After wrapping up our investigation, we have decided to move forward with the cleansing. We come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We ask that you defend us as we enter into battle and be our protection against all things wicked and evil. Lord, we ask that you please watch over and keep them safe and anything that may be attached to them, drive it away. Lord, we ask that you fill this darkness with the light of the Holy Spirit. We seal this room with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. We close all entryways, doorways, and portals inside this house. It is Jesus Christ who has authority over this house now. We seal this mirror with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. We seal this doorway with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. Any and all spirits, we drive you out. We seal this doorway with the sign of the cross. We seal this bedroom with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. It is Jesus who has authority over this house. Any demonic entities inside this house, we cast you out. Lord, we just ask that you please watch over Mar and keep her safe. Drive out any evil or negative energy that is attached to Mar In your name, we drive out all the negative and evil energy inside this house. And I want you to guard over this family and keep them safe, keep the children safe. We cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. We seal this bed with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. Any and all spirits inside this house, you can no longer enter this room or climb on this bed. This bed is sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ. He has authority over this house and over this room. Thank you guys for coming out. We can definitely sense the change. Um, it's a lot lighter in here. Uh, we haven't had any issues at night so far. Yeah, it's been like the first time I've slept good in a long time. And All right. It feels good. Thanks again. Thank you so much.